My name is Beth Duncan and I'm a masseuse and I'm here today with a darling girl whom I want to massage. Yes. And we're just going to go through the proce procedure so that I can share the techniques and the, the know-how that I've used for something like 40 years. Oh. So, at the moment I'm just warming up and flicking the toes. Now that allows the energy to flow down the leg and through the toes mm. and then we can work with the actual base of the foot which can be quite painful especially if people are barefoot quite often and I'm feeling a flow beginning of right now. Are you feeling that flow in your feet? Great! So I then move into the ankle because that often captures a lot of the actual flow the, and it stops moving as well. So here we go, up the leg, just helping the whole leg release and let go. I take it all the way up and here are the lymphatic system here. These are the lymph nodes and they can be blocked very easily. So I'm activating them and massaging them so they can release and allow the flow to flow through them. And with that flow takes the pain, that will take the pain. Mm. So the pain dissipates as I activate this area. Now we do both sides, so both legs can be actually quite tingly and toes can feel tingly which is lovely. That's great. Have you had any problems with your knees? No problems? Great. So I like to move the patella up and down to keep it mobilized and to allow everything to flow underneath the patella. And that's what I'm doing right now. And I do sideways and I do up and down and I do both. So it's all nice and free. Feels lovely actually. Nice and free. So that being done, we can then look at the feet. And I'm feeling the arch to be quite full of fluid. It's feeling like it's overloaded. And we can't have that. We've got to empty all that fluid out from the foot and take it through the toes. There's the big toe and there's the next toe and I'm flicking that energy through so that it can dissipate and get rid of all that induced pain. It can hold on to pain in the feet or ankle or even the leg. And there we go. I'm just moving that now and it's feeling so much much. It's nice now, it's feeling nice. I'm feeling that one there. Good. Now I lift the knee and work on the back. This muscle here is very strong. And so we just hold the insertion and the origin of this muscle. Now I've just a little more oil. Keep it nice and soft and flowing. There we go. Lovely. I'm using one hand on the top of the leg and one hand under. And just rotate to make sure that the whole leg is moving and flowing. That's nice. Beautiful. Up we go and over. Up at the back and over. Good. Feeling that flow, which is great. Now we'll straighten that leg. And I want to activate the lymphatic node which sits in front of that hip flexor. This is a little bone that sits on the hip. And inside that bone is where we can accumulate a lot of dross. And all I'm doing is emptying it. And sometimes we can feel that into the feet. Right, can you feel it in your feet? Mm, yeah. Great. Yeah. 
So if you're feeling it in the feet, it means the whole leg now is open mm -hmm. and flowing, which is wonderful. Mm -hmm. There we go. That's so lovely. Feels different. Mm -hmm. You can feel the flow. Beautiful. It's so lovely. Now we'll flick that toe again. Oh, and that sound is even clearer. You can feel how it and hear the sound. It's so lovely. Great. Now I want to rotate that ankle. So I just put my palm against the foot and then rotate it. Just to make sure that rotation flows really smoothly. Then we go the other way. So you do both rotations while you're holding the actual ankle and let it all flow. Perfect. That feels lovely. Very good. And then we can take any residual that's in the foot up the leg and out through the lymph which is here in the top. Great, and that leg should feel lighter. Does it feel lighter? A oh, little bit more flick. And a little bit, that's great. Great, well that's your right leg. Now we'll do exactly the same with the left. Wonderful. And that's flowing now, it's beginning to move and I can feel it changing. Is that feeling a bit easier? Yeah, yeah. Great. Beautiful. Which is really good. Beautiful. I can feel it moving all the way over the hip. It's lovely. Beautiful. Here I've got a little blockage under the foot here. The instep right there. Yeah. I can feel that to be really, really overloaded. Yeah. I'll just give it a little bit of a massage so that we can release that and take it through the toe like that take it right through like that and we'll just move a little bit more because it is a bit tender now i can feel bubbles under there yeah. can you feel bubbles yeah. under there little pieces of glass it's just like little pieces of glass and those little pieces of glass actually block the flow and of course they become very painful when we move them because they do sever the tissue perfect it's feeling great and yeah. yes joint underneath that big left toe yes you're feeling that one, aren't you? Quite sore for a long time. Has it? I feel like you're really making a difference there. Great, because I'm still holding that one because I could feel it was quite bulbous. Yeah. But now it's actually moving. I can feel the movement, which yeah. is great. Yeah. This is the latissimus dorsi for the left side. Now the insertion is on the hip and under the arm and you feel the tendon, it's tight, oh, it's yeah. really tight oh, yeah. because you've been lifting that arm or overstretching that arm maybe yes, I have. and that's the muscle that it pulls. So now, good breath. To breathe it away is the only thing to do. It's perfect. It's lovely. I love that. Really nice. It's releasing, isn't it? Feeling different already. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So that's that side, and then we'll do the other side because that feels so much better. We'll do this side now, the right side. Here it is. Perfect. That's lovely. It's a bit tender. Oh. I'm feeling the tenderness, and especially in the upper, yeah. under the arm. Yeah. And that's because your right arm is your leader, so you've yeah. been overstretching, reaching something, yeah. or just overstretching. 
because the right hand seems to do that really well. <laughs> Here we go. How's that now? Coming, Bisha? Yeah. It's moving, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I'm feeling the change in that lattice in this dorsi. The lats, they call these muscles. Yeah. They are your lats. Great. How's that feel? But really better. Good. Yeah. It's different, as isn't it? As you touch it, feels sore and achy, and then it starts letting. I feel in my body letting go. Great attention. Great. And we let go, and there we have it. Nice and soft. I just check under the breast that so we've got a flow of this tendon. That's lovely. And we'll just go up into here into the chest and we'll do both sides just gently good that's better already isn't it mm. lovely you don't feel like that you don't i don't realize how sore it is until you start touching that yes that's right and it's probably been with you for a little while not just today now that's easier it was a very good breath a very good breath you opened it all perfect great and now we'll go into the arm we'll start with the left arm because normally the right arm is much more painful than the left probably because we work it more if we are right-handed that is if we're left-handed then it's the opposite now we'll just take that through and up. I'm going to move that cushion a wee bit so I can get behind into here. And it's under here that I've got my finger right on that muscle that will then allow that arm to release. That's good. Can you feel that release? Yeah. It's painful though, isn't it? To begin with, absolutely. Yes. But now feeling better it's uh, definitely alleviating good the tension good it's perfect and we'll take it all the way down to your fingers take it all the way lovely and under here we find this tendon needs releasing because we work our arms so so much this tendon is often very very painful and it does restrict your wrist but if we open it the wrist becomes free and everything floats and it's lovely so much less painful it's lovely perfect Great. I want that to go up and over and then I do the side. I'll take it from here and go to here. There's a bit of pain oh. both ends. It's a big muscle that's been holding everything tight. Oh. Oh. Holding everything tight. There we go. Okay, so right beyond that underneath there we go it's releasing beautifully beautifully you can feel it releasing can't you yeah it's so good and then we go right down from one end of that muscle down into the base right into the base right into your armpit very good great now it's starting to move now you've got a smile on your face <laughs> because it's not so painful <laughs> it's so good
that's feeling a bit easier let's flick each of these digits great lovely I'll pop that down great well I'm hearing it click and clack you're hearing it good that's good yeah perfect we'll, we'll pick that arm up and we'll do the behind it goes up and over and we'll do under the arm and then under the shoulder under the arm first oh, it's quite grainy feel all the little granules here stored stored in this area take it into the underarm and allow it to flow nice and easily that's much better it feels softer doesn't it yeah. much more pliable and free free with no, without pain good and into here so it's both sides of the shoulder it's amazing how it can store a lot of pain here especially the oh, right wow. especially <laughs> the right side the right is the leader and that's why the pain is so much more severe there we go I'm feeling it releasing oh. that's better good how's that feel it's moving really well good it's a bit uh, gracious yes that, huh? yes no the you've done really well. well it's moving now perfectly it makes such a difference doesn't it yeah. such a difference and it has to come right into here and then I will cup it the right is often worse than the left and cupping helps to break it all up and move it along those calcified little pieces of glass that like to stay under the arm I suppose it's a nice safe place to be good it's better it's more pliable can you feel the difference it doesn't feel as crunchy no the crunchy is gone mm. and it's smooth and I'm feeling it becoming a nice flow let's try the other side ouch that's nasty mm. right oh. there wow that's a nasty oh. one love <sighs> bring your head up a fraction so that I can get in a little bit deeper there we go that's deeper how's it feel oh, yeah. coming better it's, really good. it's definitely painful definitely painful yes 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 that shoulder has been shouldering responsibility for far too long <laughs> have I'll to let it go <laughs> let it go it's going now oh, can you feel a change yeah, yeah. perfect I'm feeling that <sighs> right there but it's less but it's still there and it's still under the head but it's improving it's improving there we go it's coming better how does that feel yeah it's good that's good lovely really good <sighs> taking it all down under the arm that's where it's got to go it has to be released oh that's feeling so much better now we'll do the back of the legs you've got some really really strong muscles haven't you a lot of walking running i used to do ballet oh ballet my daughter was a beautiful ballerina yeah. how lovely that. yes oh that's yeah. special we'll just do the calves and get them flowing 
and I want to open that one because it's far too tight. Oh, wow. You can feel it, can't you? It's yeah. latissimus dorsi. Yeah, wow. it's quite a tight muscle. And I'm feeling it letting go. Good. Perfect. Lovely. Perfect. Now it's flowing. I can feel the change. Can you feel that change? Good. Perfect. That not as tight. No. It, it just let it go, which is great. Perfect. That feels quite different now. It's all flowing. You're feeling that under the foot. Yes, I can feel that tenderness here. Good. I thought it would be the top, but it's more here. Very tight in there, love. <laughs> Gosh, the right side is often worse than the left, so often. And there's a big blockage there. Oh. Oh, oh, Tender, isn't it? Oh. I'm feeling a bump right there. Yeah. And there. All the way up there. Oh. Mm. Poor darling. We'll just oh. take that one down and see if we can move that out. It's nasty. Take it back and turn it round. Oh. Oh. I have to be cruel to be kind. It's the adage. I have to be cruel to be kind. Feel it letting go. Can you feel it letting Absolutely. go? That's amazing. That's so good. Oh. Yes, it's allowing me to go deeper uh -huh. and it's letting go. That fibre is not so tight. Are you going to speak to a potential student of yours for a massage? Oh, right, oh, yes. Well, you. the whole thing hasn't taken two hours really, has it? So, I mean, it's not as if you have to give a full two hour massage to give a whole massage. Yeah. You can do it in an hour and a half. Mm -hmm. You can do it in an hour. It actually depends on the person and what state their body is in. Mm -hmm. And if they can cope with a deep massage or maybe they need lighter massages when they might need more. So it's a matter of every person is different. No two people are the same. Now is there anywhere that you feel needs a bit more? Uh, just the right shoulder was giving me a bit of grief. Yeah. That one there? Yeah. I thought it was. Yeah. So what I'd like to do is go into the front, yeah. put my finger there and oh, there. Oh wow. And that will meet. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. And that will release it. So good to have that release. And now that shoulder feels 
really mm. like a loose shoulder. Mm. Perfect. Mm. How's that now? Yeah, a thousand times better. Good. Yeah. I'll go into the other side because once we release one, we've got to release the other so that it can even up. Yes. Here oh. <laughs> and there. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> Yes, mm -hmm. right inside you. Mm -hmm.